What do you think, you guys? Is it working? Yeah. Is it yeah. live? Mm-hmm. All right, cool. Mm-hmm. Well, hey, thanks for joining the live or, or watching it whenever you watch it, you guys. Uh, I'm Kurt with Kurt's Card Care, and I am joined by two experts um, this evening. Um, my two experts joining me this evening are my little collectors, my twin boys, Jake and Dean. What's up, guys? Hello. Cool. Hello. Cool. So, you guys, this week I had um, a lot of... A lot of um, feedback about gaming cards and Pokemon and <clears throat> Marvel stuff. And I'm like, I like that stuff too. Let's do it. And uh, hey, Happy New Year to you guys too. What's up, guys? Thanks for watching. So um, back to what I was saying, Marvel. I had a few guys reach out saying, hey, can I put stuff on, you know, how do I clean up a Marvel early 90s and, you know, stuff like that. So we're going to do a little live demonstration. What do you think, guys? Cool. All right. So this was, you guys, this was 92 Marvel Masterpiece. And after getting a few requests about cleaning up gaming cards, I went through some of my collection. And what I do, you guys, before I even bring you on live to even save some time for you is I clean everything with a microfiber. When I you start using, you guys, like if you see me use my spray or my polish tonight, it's after I've tried everything to get it clean as possible quickly, but sometimes you'll just have stuff left on. And like this card, for example, you guys, I can't believe it's 30 years old now, but when I was, there's like a, what do you guys, Jake Dean, what do you think that is? Like, it's like, um, it's cr- like some dust left. It's on. crusty or something, you know? So like, I don't want to, what up guys? Um, so I don't want to press any harder on that guys with like a microfiber right because if it's crispy on there it could like scratch the foil surface right yeah so what i'm gonna do first you guys is i'm gonna use just a little bit of my my spray and we're just gonna put a little bit on a little piece of cotton all right if you've watched my sports card demonstrations before it's pretty much the exact same thing but i just wanted to make this you guys so all my non-sports card collector friends out there if you have situations like this or if you're like me and collect a little bit of everything you know what you can do so look at that you see that you guys look at that that's real something is on there really good because it's even ripping up the oh yeah see that jake and dean yeah so don't be worried it tells you that there's something on there and hopefully we can move it All right, guys, I'm looking through the screen. What do you guys see? Look good? It looks, is it, it, is it coming out? Yep, it looks better. Let's see. I don't see it anymore. Well, it was just that little thing right there. But let's take a look, you guys. And He's off. So that looks good, right? Mm-hmm. No yes. scratches? Nope. No scratches. All right, and another thing I noticed on here, you guys, too, is then, then go back with your microfiber, your finishing fiber, and wipe it up. But I have all, several sets of these. This was, like, one of my huge things. Like, I'm just turning 40, so this stuff came out when I was 10, so it was, like, the perfect age, and I just love these. So what I notice is they, the edges curl up a lot on these foil cards, too. And I won't keep you guys too long tonight, but we also noticed, what was on this one, you guys? was sticky yeah it's probably the same stuff that's on the front but it's trying to do the best in my light guys bear with me but trust me it's on there it's something right there just a hard sticky spot (sighs) boys we're gonna do the pokemon card next yep all right you guys are gonna you guys are gonna be the experts to our viewers because um because you guys are the experts. Dad likes the sports cards a ton, but I know that you guys uh, are the experts when it comes to the comics and the gaming cards, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And since mm-hmm. our viewers demand expertise, I need to bring in the experts like you guys, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm happy to report to our viewers, you guys, that I think that picked up pretty easy. But, again, once you uh, go as far as you can, guys, with um, the microfiber and even... I was joking with uh, somebody on Messenger today. He was saying, you know, I use, I use the hot breath treatment the <laughs> and the wipe. I said, yeah, who, who doesn't? I mean, I, I do that a lot too. But if you need to take it a step further, that works, all right? 
And then, guys, what was one more thing that we wanted to do on this one? Was there anything else? Um, oh, yes. You said it, something was sticky. On. I'm going to have you junior collectors point out it out here. Look in the light, guys. What do you see in this corner? Let's see. Do you see a little bend? Do you see the right? Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. So that's where, that's where it's all in the details, right, guys? Yeah. So look at what we'll do. It's there. I see it, too. So what we'll put is a penny sleeve over it. And we got my card tool. <laughs> yeah, thanks, man. I'm, I'm glad I have the kids involved, too. They're... They remind me so much of me when I was that age. They're they're nine, so right when I got into collecting and just they're having fun with it. So guys, I'm gonna turn this if you don't mind, because I gotta see what I'm doing first and foremost. And this is just a little corner peel. Like it's not dented, it's not damaged, it just like separates a little bit. So I'm just gonna go over it a little bit to put it back really into place. Some of these Marvel cards, you guys, are the edges are so chipped up and so white. My edge tool does not fix chipped up edges uh, where you can see the white. But if it's something like that, where the corners just was popping up a little bit, you can fold it back down. Right, guys? Yes. Cool? So, all right, what do you think? Should we put this uh, put this one in a, in a penny sleeve? Let's do it. And look at Oh, hold on, hold on. I still see a mark on the front. You know what I want to do, you guys? Let's do a little polish on the front. All right. See it? So, you guys, I'm just going to switch it up a little bit because I used the card spray to get the um, that crunchy stuff off. But it didn't, even though it lifted it up, it's not shiny there. So, I'm just going to use a little bit of my par my card polish here. Well, this is a good example, right, guys? We got fixed up working on a corner getting some old stuff off and then let's see if we can shine it sometimes unfortunately guys if there's like a stain on the front of a card for a long time and even if you remove it with the spray um sometimes it just it's unshinable so i hope this one shines up because i actually like this card a lot and let's see if we can and the polish takes to these marble cards great, you guys. There's, it doesn't take anything off the surface, of course, and it doesn't um, stain them or leave any marks or peel up the foil. Well, let's see, guys. We're live, so no screwing around here. <laughs> right? No monkey business. No more Looks good? Down. All right. See? The bottom yeah, of the card's a little bit it. dirty, you guys, but I'm not going to make everybody watch me wipe every single fingerprint off. I think they get it, right? Yeah. If they run into those issues, they can... I think they can handle it. All right, Pokemon's up next, right, guys? Yes. Okay. All right, let's, let's put this in a sleeve. So, Jake and Dean, Pokemon is your favorite thing to collect, right? Yes, that's right. How'd you guys get into it? Um, our friends collect them, so we started. That's how it goes, yeah. right? So, you guys, do you know the? Um, so, for my viewers that are Pokemon, you know, enthusiasts to know know a lot you got to give me a little grace because it's not my number one thing. That's why i got the experts here with me. So, guys, who, who is this guy? Who, what's his name? Because it looks like it's written in uh, maybe like I Japanese. I actually don't know. You don't know the name? Japanese. I don't Japanese? know. Japanese? Who, who, you don't know? Japanese. But it's a cool-looking character, right? It is. Yes. So I've had a lot of requests about Pokemon cards. Now, you guys, just looking at my son's collections, they, there's a lot of different cards with a lot of different, um, a lot of different textures, right, Dean? Yes. So... Um, you guys, is this a base card? Would this be a base card with like a holographic inlay? I would say so. Is that what you'd call it? And see, we got some stuff on the back. We got like some marks there. And then, yeah, man, see, the guys are saying hi to you guys. Hi. You know, and they, Hello. and then, and then Houdini's wrote definitely like the way the polish worked, you know, so like. Yeah. Because it's a lot, of, a lot of guys are like us, man. They collect cards, and if there's something on them and they can fix them up got to do it right so this right here um again guys i polished this before bringing anybody on here i uh, i didn't polish it i wiped it with the microfiber but there is something sticky here and you guys uh it frustrates my boys they'll say that the, there's kids at school with crazy awesome pokemon cards right yeah, and they have they ding them up and beat them up it just triggers me <laughs> it triggers them 
So here's what I'm going to go at with this on this, guys, because the, I like the surface of these Pokemon. They're similar to sports cards, but they they have a they almost have a matte and shiny finish at once. And I was messing around with a few of them, and this takes the a polish really nice. So I'm just going to do a quick. That was the only area that I could see affected on this one. You guys see anything else on this? Like over here a little. Okay, let's see. You guys got the good light? Yeah. All right. Does it look good there, Dean? Mm -hmm. All right, so let's wipe it up. So you guys don't know the name of this one, but why do you like this one? Is this a special one or anything? Um. Well, I traded for it because... It looks cool? Mm. I like that it's. And it's hollow. I like that it's got the Japanese writing on it. Mm -hmm. That's cool. And I think that's my first Japanese card, so that's why I traded for it as well. I think it's sweet, man. I think it's a good one. And look at, look what thing? Daddy did for you, buddy. Whoa, it's gone. Good, right? Yeah. All right, no scratches. Japanese do you see it now? Look at the edges and corners. They look good. They do. The Japanese or that one? All right, let's flip it over, boys. Mostly. What is this the one that you wanted me to? Do the back? Mostly yep. Japanese yep. cards. Yep. Centering is very good, so I don't think you have to do the back. Oh, I noticed you guys from even from shopping with you guys for cards. A lot of these come from the factory. Really, really nice. I wish all of our basketball cards and football cards and stuff would come from the factory. So nice. But um, let's do the same thing there, you guys. How old is this one? Um, I think it's like nineteen two thousand. Is it in the two thousands? Two thousands. Yeah. yeah. It says 1996 on the back. 1996. I was going to wow. say 1998. Way before you guys were even born, huh? Mm-hmm. All right. So I hope this is a good demonstration for our Pokemon collecting friends out there. and That worked pretty good, too, you guys. So this type of Pokemon card without a lot of textures um, shines up awesome. That looks good, right, guys? It does. Yes, it does. Does this one have any value to it or anything, you guys? I I, mean, I, not, I do don't not know. So. The, I do not know the value. But it's it doesn't even matter. It's just cool looking, right? Yes. yes. All right, let's yeah. guys. We let's put one more. Want to do one more, guys? Let's do it. Uh, I know yeah. some other guys are like us, just chilling tonight. Probably want to see some card stuff, right? So let's put this one in a sleeve. Jake, I'm gonna give this one to you, and will you put this in a penny sleeve for us, Bubba? All right. So all right, last card for now. You guys, will you guys do another live with me again, Jake and Dean? Of course. Cool, man. All right, here's a dude that I always love. I think the Silver Surfer is awesome. And, yeah, go ahead, buddy. So, it, let me give you guys an example. Um, you know, I do show you a lot of stuff I can fix, but let me just give you guys an example. Like, see how chopped up, unfortunately, this line is across the bottom? Oh. See that, Dino? Yeah. So, even though you guys, I got, like, my corner tool and stuff like that, it doesn't make white go away. So I, I, you guys might be like, it might be clearly obvious, but I grabbed this card for an example. There's a lot of surface baby scratches. Dean, you see that from your angle? You uh -huh. see, you see how there's like little, you see that that's even a bigger scratch right there yeah. by my finger. Yes, I do. So when they grade this, Dean, when they grade surfaces of cards or surfaces, if you have scratches on there, it will, it will ding you down, you know what I'm saying? Yes. You know, so that's uh, that's why, you guys, I make this for me and even the guys that are, like, watching is it helps us clean up our cards so they're not, you know, so they don't have sc those little baby scratches and stuff in them. So, all right, you guys ready? Yep. This is a 1992, mm -hmm. guys, this is a 92 Marvel Masterpiece, and the artist is Joe Jusco, and I just love this guy. He is such an amazing artist. You guys, there's also a ding in this card. I don't know if our viewers can see it. The My polish doesn't remove dents. I, that's another popular question I had all week was, hey, how do we fix some dents? I wish I knew, fellas and ladies. I know I've got lady collectors out there, but dents, I, I just can't figure it out. It's just, I think it's kind of beyond the fixing zone, but these little baby scratches we, we're pretty good with. Right, boys? Yeah. yeah. All right. Not big ones. No, big, big, that's a good point, Dean. Big scratches, no. Um, I can fix, we can help you with a lot of your card stuff, but big scratches, no, and dents, no. But sometimes that just happens, doesn't it, boys? Yeah. All right, guys, look at, 
Oh, don't tip her over our camera here, Kurt. All right, <clears throat> let's do it one more time, guys. That helped out. It did. And so, guys, if you're thinking about needing to shine up any of the surfaces of your marble cards, as long as they have the, you know, the shiny finish like this, like most modern era cards, the it takes a polish just fine. It takes the spray just fine. And like I said, again, guys, I, I use a microfiber before I ever have to get to my products to see if I can just simply wipe it up and clean it up. And a lot of the time with modern era stuff, we can do that. But the older the card gets, as we all know, there's... Does it hurt the card when you do that? When we put this on it? Yeah. That's a good question, man. No, that's that's why I made it, buddy, because you know how... Look at this one now. See it, Jake? Look how shiny it is now. It is. And what, when we just started it, it was dull, right? Yeah. So that, you know how daddy's good at making soaps and sprays and polishes and all that stuff? Yeah. We make this one just for cards, so it's gentle, right? Yep. Yep. And so you see that? Mm. Yeah. Yes. yes. Let's. I, I stress what our friends at Houdini say, practice on lower and similar uh, surfaces are crucial. Got to get a feel for it, guys, because, you know, my stuff is a tool and it works well for a lot of situations, but some stuff it might not, you know, so to give it a shot. But hey, see, guys, if people are just saying what's up, you know, other collectors are watching tonight. So look at, um, unfortunately, guys, I couldn't get that thing out. See that it's one, Jake and Dean? Yep. Yeah. It's just, that's just the way it goes sometimes, you guys. So let me, let me try it again. What happens if you put too much? Well, that's another good question, Jake. You just want to put a little bit on the tip, like you see what I'm doing? Yeah. And you just want to work it in a little bit, just a little thin layer. Lightly? Yep, lightly. Mm -hmm. And <clears throat> if it, if you guys are ever working with it at home and it it dries up quick, it evaporates, because you, this is definitely not made to be left on a card after cleaning. If there's ever a little bit left, guys, just put a little bit of polish on top of it. Polish will remove polish. So if you do, Jake, put a little bit too much on, don't worry. It all comes right off. All right. Okay. But I got those baby scratches away from the Silver Surfer on his chest and stuff. That looks good. But that awesome. one right there, guys, that's just how it goes sometimes. If you got something too deep, it just ain't going to come out. But, you guys, let's show everybody what we did. And I appreciate you guys being my experts. Jake and Dean, thanks for joining me and yeah, uh, talking about the Pokemon. So this one worked. this one worked out really good. I love that card. Reminds me of being your age, you guys. It's awesome. And then you put the Pokemon card away already in your uh, case? It's um, downstairs. See? Good collectors. They already put their stuff away. So, hey, guys, tell our tell our viewers Happy New Year. Happy New Year. And, you guys, thanks for keeping us busy, guys. We were busy all day. We made sprays today, polishes today, kits today. Got the mail done today. So, you guys, we wish you a happy, happy New Year. I'm Kurt with Kurt's Card Care with my experts, also my twin sons, my junior collectors, Jake and Dean. Happy New Year, guys. Bye. Bye.